So this is my UPS I just set up that I got from work. Um, they were going to upgrade it, but I asked for it and they decided to give it to me. Um, it's an APC Smart UPS 2200. 2200 VA. Um, it's good for 1980 watts. The, the uh, pure sine wave inverter inside. It runs off 48 volts. And normally it houses four 18 amp hour batteries in the bottom housing here. Um, but I got rid of those because they went, they were junk. They were reading like five, ten, uh, five to eight volts, I want to say. So I junked all those and I decided to wire in my own batteries from my backup system down in the basement. Um, I had eight of these Eaton PowerWare 12280 batteries and they were old UPS batteries from work. They, they had a big system at work uh, that consisted of about 40 of these. Um, but these are VRLA valve regulated lead acid batteries, um, AGM. Uh, so they do not off gas unless um, they were to have a failure and, and get overcharged for too long and that isn't the case in this situation. Um, I monitor the voltage constantly. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. I just uh, took it apart, checked the board, made sure there was no caps that were swelling. Um, everything looked good. I dusted it all out and I lubed up the fan with some tri-flow lubrication. Um, it was a little rattly and noisy, but that was the only issue I had with it. Uh, but now it sounds great. Um, I've run it for about a week now, and it's it's run great. It, it basically is good for um, brownouts or if you have a voltage dip from the grid. Um, it has its own built-in surge protectors, and it's a server grid, so it's it's plenty of power. And it does its um, it does its thing every two weeks. It'll check the batteries, run run a self diagnosis test, and from there I just uh, let it do its thing. But if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section, and I will answer them. Thanks a lot.